Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Stellaris. My name, of course, is Open Potato. We are playing as the Skaldari Confederacy. And we've been on a little bit of a mission, actually, to try and sort out our influence over the last couple of episodes. And I think that we're actually in a pretty darn good place, sort of. Uh, technically, our monthly gain is minus 0 0.32, but honestly... All we need to worry about is getting enough influence to fully integrate these uh, these guys who are, of course, you know, our vassal, our subject, our minions. And I'm kind of hopeful that this is going to go very, very smoothly and we should have more than enough influence to, um, you know, carry out the remainder of the 82 months, theoretically. Uh, the maths in my head sort of makes sense. I think that we've got roughly enough influence for about 150 months give or take, uh, so we should be absolutely, absolutely darn fine. Uh, in terms of colonies, we are actually doing okay in terms of them as well. Uh, working on getting the five pop on every every planet, oh, you know what we could really do with? We could really do with some of the tech that gets rid of some of these volcanoes. Volcanoes or the toxic kelp would be lovely. If we could get rid of that, then that would be fantastic. Can we upgrade any of this stuff? Uh, no, we can't. Established. Colony established. Great news. It's not a very big colony, but um, for sure, for sure, it's uh, it's it was the right thing to do. I mean, what we did was that we uh, we got rid of the whatever you call it, the frontier outpost. I still think it was probably the right idea to to get a colony here instead. Um, and as soon as we get some toxic kelp cleaning tech, then we'll be sorted on this planet. But uh, until we do, we're we're gonna be in a little bit of a pickle. But that's okay. Okay, construction ship, go over here, build mining stations. Yep, let's go and do that. Um, ideally, I'd like to get the minor mandate done, but I don't think that that's going to happen, considering our next guy is up for re-election in... Very, very soon, actually. Leader died. What? Okay, not actually our real leader. Not a guy that actually matters. The guy, the, yeah, the governor of here. Uh, let's recruit a governor. There we go. Uh, who do we want? Oh, no, we can't, actually. We can't, of course. Yeah, we can't. We definitely can't because <laughs> because of uh, our whole influence problems that we've got going on. That's okay. You know what? We'll just we'll just put off our 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 influence expenditure for a little while. There's there's no rush. But when are we when are we next election? 2241. 2241. What? Election overview. Okay, election ends in 23 days, basically. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this guy's got 40%. He's on course to win, and he's still got the minor mandate, which is exactly what we want, because we're going to try and, you know, build a whole bunch more mining stations around this area. Uh, construction ship, let's send you over here. I'll send you over there in anticipation. What is this? Diplomatic insult. Honestly? I don't care what you say because we're integrating you, so that's absolutely fine. You can continue insulting me all you bloody well like. Uh, who is this? Are you the same guy? I, I take it you are. I never remember their names, but minor mandate, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, that's fine. Uh, great, 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 great. And we've now got one more research alternative. That's very nice. Wow, holy cow, we got a lot of choices here. We have a lot of choices. Okay, what do we want? Planet Fortification Toughness, plus 20%. That would not be terrible to get. Advanced Combat Rules, eh. Solar Panel Network, eh. I mean, I don't really care about that, to be honest. It's not really something that I want to waste a module on. Survey Speed and Gravitic Sensors. This would take 10 months. Did I just see 10 months? Yeah, 10 months. That's not very long. You know, we could afford to sink some time into that stuff. Or perhaps we want to spend a little bit longer and get a Disruptor. I don't really care that much about weapons, to be honest, though. Energy storage capacity and an antimatter reactor. That's fairly cool, if you ask me. Let's maybe work on this. 71 months, though. I don't know if we can really do that. Planetary fortification. Ah, let's do planetary fortification. It's going to take a while. Months remaining, 22. Not too bad. Not too, not too bad at all. Uh, and you're going to rule until... 200 and... No, 2,247. And this is going to be completed in 76 months. 
So roughly at the same time, I reckon that those those guys those things will expire. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we'll be able to take advantage of uh, of this minor mandate. But I'm hopeful. I'm very very hopeful indeed. Okay, yeah, we've got lots of construction ships, but nothing to bloody well do with them. I honestly thought that this whole integration process would be a little bit shorter than it has been, but I guess it's fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Do we want to survey some planets out here? I feel that we probably want to survey some planets out here. Requires a scientist. What? Oh my god, we can't recruit any scientists. Oh, this is a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. So how can we... How can we survey this system then? That doesn't make sense. How can we survey this system without a scientist? No, we actually can't survey this system without a scientist. Wow, okay, so we're basically useless. <laughs> Because our current three scientists are dedicated to doing research full-time. Which is fine. It's not a big deal, but it's a little bit annoying. Yeah, we're a little bit short on the whole leaders. But that's okay. You guys are still superior. Is there anybody that we can make a deal with? I feel that I want to make a deal with somebody. What is this? Is this the high-value mining target? Yeah, high-value mining target. Yeah, we're not going to... We can't. We can't come all the way out Situation over here. Updated. Oh, okay. What is this? Issues a special project. Yeah, I'll research that. Why not? I mean, I don't think we're researching anything important at the moment. Oh, monthly influence. That just happens to be very important. Great. <laughs> uh, planetary targets and planetary capital. Now, this is going to be super good for us because we've got a massive glut of minerals. So, I look forward to spending them on not useless planetary capitals, but, you know, not exactly super, super, super useful for us. Uh, I suppose that we should probably just build ships, I guess. I mean, we could design a destroyer. Let's design a destroyer. You know what? Let's design a destroyer. Screw it. Um, or we could des design a defense platform. I mean, that might be an idea. But I don't think we're going to get attacked, so I think that we probably want a destroyer because it's better. Uh, we could put nothing, but that would be really stupid. Uh, defensive systems, aggressive combat. Oh, weapons damage plus 10%. I kind of like this, actually. The basic, uh, the basic combat commands or whatever the heck you call it. Ion thrusters level 2. Yeah, let's get it. Ship mounted radar. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Absolutely. Uh, what do we want? Medium? Three small weapons? Two utility slots? And they all cost 60. It's just about... It's a, it's a question of what do we want. I think we go for a fortune breaker. And we go for a... Uh, yeah? Wait, what are we designing here? We're designing a destroyer. I thought we were. Maybe we want a hope breaker instead? No, you know what? I feel that we need some medium slots. I feel that that's probably the best thing to do. Man, that is gorgeous. Mandate unfulfilled. Wait, what? Chancellor's reign has come to an end with their election. What? He just begun. Did he die? What the heck? Oh, he totally died. Oh my god, he totally died. Do we have to be leaderless for, like, the next wee while? No, 81 days left. Okay, thank God. Okay, so it turns out that we will elect ourselves a new Chancellor. However, an orbital researcher looks like he's going to win it. I think we had this guy before, actually. I can't really remember. I'm honestly okay with an orbital researcher winning it, as long as a slaver doesn't win it. And it worries me that they've got 4%. I don't. I just don't want the slaver to get into power. I really, really don't. That would be pretty darn tragic for us. Uh, ship designer. Okay, let's go back to business. And let's... Space torpedoes. I've, I've been told that space torpedoes are pretty darn good. They penetrate shields as well. Sentinel point defense. Very, very short range. And, you know, we can't actually add it to the slot. I don't think we want any point defense. Mass drivers? 
mass drivers. I think they're, you know, they're very similar to the coil gun. Very similar to the coil gun. In fact, coil guns look look better. Yeah, I, I guess the coil guns look better. So I guess we want space torpedoes and we want situation. Yeah, you know what? Let's get space torpedoes and some coil guns. All right, we've got a new chancellor. Fantastic. And I presume that it's going to be an orbital researcher or whatever the heck it is. Uh, an orbital researcher mandate, that is, anyway. Uh, utility stuff. What do we want? Nano composite armor? Ceramo metallic armor? It's pretty good, actually. It's basically doubly as powerful or doubly as effective. Man, look at all these missile turrets. Holy cow, that is crazy. Look at this beast. That is that bad boy right up there. That is crazy. That looks awesome. That really, really does. Uh, deflectors. Small deflectors. I think we want a, a mixture of... No, we've got a few... Well, we want a mixture of armor and shields, obviously. I guess we'll get... Yeah, a couple of shields metallic armor. I, I presume that this armor is yeah, just double as effective, as I've already said. Uh, and now we need to deal with power. Is that going to be... That's not enough power. We're going to need to ditch something. Ugh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Uh, what do we want to ditch? Maybe a shield? Yeah, ditch a shield. Uh, no, that's this one. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that should make us fine. What if we put a small shield in there? Minus 10. Ah. Small there. And that there. I'm just working out, like, what's the best combination here? Because we're not going to be able to get much value out of this. Unfortunately, or we're not going to be able to get as much value as I thought we were going to be able to get it out. I'm going to call this ship meh, because you know what? It's meh. It's a meh class destroyer. It's all right, you know, it's not fantastic, but I guess, I guess it'll do. What is this? Guarantee independence, guarantee independence. Where is this? Okay, this is my friend. I'm actually 100% okay with that. Yeah, like, totally okay with that. How far are we along this uh, progression now? 61 months remaining. Gosh darn. Okay, let's check out our new governor. So what have you got? You've got spaceport build cost. Kind of nice, I guess. Energy credits plus 10%. That really helps us, actually. Um, and I presume you are going to be an orbital research mandate. Yeah, you are an orbital research mandate. As suspected. Okay, now we can start pumping out these ships. Uh, we can also probably... I mean, we've already got a couple of spaceports kicking around. Uh, one here. You could probably do with getting a spaceport down here, I guess. I mean, there seems to be no reason why not. I mean, we've got the spaceport reduced build cost. Will cost us a little bit of income to uh, to up upkeep it. But, you know, if, if it ever comes to war, then we're going to be in a great position to defend. Because we'll have all of these uh, spaceports just sitting around. Plus, it gives us something to sink our minerals into, which, let's face it, we need to get rid of these things. We absolutely do. Uh, all right. What can we build here? We could build synchronized defenses or an engineering bay, neither of which I really give a damn about. What I care about is getting my meh class destroyers out. There we go. Maybe that was a little bit too much. There we go. Okay, knock a couple off there. No, one more. There we go. Perfect. War declaration. Oh, thank God. I thought it was on me for a second there. But that's great. You know, if as long as it's not on me, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, and we'll just build up a little bit of a following here. We don't have... We got Corvette assembly yards. We don't have uh, destroyer assembly yards. That doesn't really matter. At least we can build destroyers. That's kind of cool. Uh, but we'll just build up these over the, you know, next wee while, while we've still got the extra minerals. And I don't think that we're going to go over 
above our naval capacity because, you know, obviously we're building more and more spaceports and spaceports add naval capacity, so we don't really need to worry about it, which is something that we can be pretty darn happy about. What are you blinking on about over here? I honestly don't know what that is. I just, I really, 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 really want these guys to be integrated. Like, that's, that's what I'm waiting for. Like, I totally am. 57 months, so what is that? Like, a couple of years, maybe? It certainly has taken a lot longer than I've expected it to. But, in fairness, I had no real idea on how long it would take. You know, this is pretty much the first campaign I started, and uh, I, I still am I'm getting to grips with this game. So, you know, I, uh, I like how long it takes, but at the same time, I wish it would just bloody well hurry on. You know, that's... Uh, be really nice. We've just got these these ships that are just doing absolutely nothing. We've got a lot of corvettes here. Interceptor, advanced interceptors, which is kind of nice. Have these guys all uh, been upgraded? I mean, we could probably upgrade our advanced interceptors. In the basic interceptor, let's delete that design. Let's des let's delete the auto design. Let's delete the other uh, destroyer design. Construction ship. Yeah, I guess. That looks horrendously ugly. I'll be honest. That looks really, really, really freaking ugly. We could put some stuff on it if we wanted to, but I really don't care. I kind of like how cheap the uh, the construction ships actually are. Anyway, let's think about upgrading the, um, the Interceptor. Interceptor core. I mean, is this the best that we can go for? The Interceptor core? I think, I think it is. Oh, shit, really? Okay, we got it back. Fantastic. Uh, although we would be able to upgrade to level 2 armor. It's kind of nice. We can probably upgrade these to fusion armor things. And then, yeah, place in some, some more armor. That is really good, actually. We've got the small coil gun. I think that this is probably the best probably the best that we can get. I mean, unless we want to be using point defense, but I don't really think that we'd ever want to use point defense. Space torpedoes. It's got a higher average damage, just slightly. But I like the idea of our, of our, you know, our little interceptors being the things that have the, the pathetic little machine guns on. You know, they're not even pathetic or little. They're, uh, you know, they're just, they're just fine. Yeah, let's save that. Absolutely. And let's send in our entire fleet to be upgraded. It's going to cost us 200, 200 minerals. I'm okay with that. That's an absolute bargain for what we're getting. You know, it's not going to make a massive difference, but it's it's going to make a little difference. So we've got a single ship, two ships in this fleet, and they are already giving us 206 military power. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is quite something, actually. That is spectacular. Have we got a leader on this uh, this fleet? We do indeed. How old are you? 64. You're not thrillingly young, I'll be honest, but you might just do for what we, uh, what we need you for. And we're not actually going to war against anybody yet. I mean, we could go up against this, this big old, big old fallen empire, although he is a little bit more powerful than us, which is a little bit of a shame. You want to give me your star charts? Nope, didn't think so. Not surprised by that. You want to give me your star charts? What is this? Unemployment. Uh, I'll check that in just a second. No, nope, you're not keen on star charts either. What? Oh yeah, you, there's just literally nothing on this uh, on this square. A frontier clinic? I mean, I guess a frontier clinic doesn't even matter. Right? Because it's not like we even want the population to grow. The population is capped at two until we can do something else. Could get a basic mine, I suppose. This is pathetic. Wow, this is actually horrendously bad. And what's the habitability of this planet? 80%? I mean, that's fine. But it's pretty darn bad. It's pretty darn bad. I guess we just get a basic power plant? Or a basic science lab, perhaps? Yeah, let's get a science lab, why not? I, I don't suppose that it really makes that much of a huge difference, but we'll do it anyway. What's this? Uh, diplomatic communication. 
Let us end this charade. Where are you? Look, I, I want to end my rivalry. I want to end my rivalry. I think he's going to go to war with me. I think he might actually go to war with me. Do you want to join the alliance? I would love it if you came into the alliance, buddy. What about you guys? You want to invite... You want to come to the alliance? Why are you not keen? Unfriendly attitude. Let's establish an embassy here. Let's, uh, let's get friendly with these guys. I mean... You're a fanatic spiritualist. And you're a xenophobe. But you've got no real... You know, no real militaristic tendencies, I suppose. And you are superior. And you are rivaled. You are rivaled with these guys, which are not exactly our next target, but they're a pretty darn big power right next to us. So, you know, would be good to get these guys on side. I would love to do that. That would be, uh, that would be really quite something if we could manage to get that sorted. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? We're still running a massive, massive, massive amount of minerals which is worrying. Uh, we're building as many bloody destroyers as we possibly can, but you can only build so many. You can only build so many. Where did we... Okay, we need to get... Uh, oh, not the... Is it crew quarters? Yeah, crew quarters we want. Spaceport level 2, spaceport level 3. Let's queue you up. Uh, we've already got crew quarters over here. We don't want anything else. Uh, I don't really care about Corvette assembly yards. We've already upgraded you. Where are we, where are we building the other spaceport? Was it here? Oh, yeah, it was here. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Crew quarters and level two, level three. Perfect. Bingo. And now we're down to a very, very, very much more reasonable uh, number of minerals. So fingers crossed. Nothing bad's going to happen, I guess. We're not going to overflow. I mean, we're still going to have loads, but I'm really hoping that this integration is going to complete in just under four years, and we should be able to just go to work and build up all of the infrastructure of our vassals, and everybody's happy. That's the plan, anyway. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very, very much for watching this episode of Stellaris. We, of course, have been playing as the Skaldari Confederacy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.